the trial setup that we have for the Anchor Powerhouse uh, 767 in our house is really just an initial uh, uh, you know, attempt to understand how, how the battery fits for the lifestyle that we're trying to do with it. So essentially right now we have it on a, uh, uh, on a timer and we're basically using time of day savings with the, the electrical company. Basically they charge it up during the, the evening hours and then we're just running um, a, a, a moderate, well, very light load really on it right now, but we're essentially cycling it. So basically it is running a fridge uh, throughout the uh, the daytime, and it's running basically the, the cable modem and uh, the networking gear for the house, uh, as well as a, a network access storage backup basically. So it's it's kind of acting like a universal power supply at the moment. And that timer basically charges us at the beginning of the uh, low cost electricity period, and then it turns off for a while. Then it runs for uh, over the night for uh, on battery power, and then it charges again at the ending of the um, dollar cost. So basically, and we're kind of just playing with that right now to to tune that up and down so that we have it. And the idea behind it is that so we still have a. Uh, enough battery for uh, a power outage if that were to occur essentially so um, for the time being it's it's truly a, a trivial setup in the house it's got that uh, timer which goes into the wall plug and you'll see right there that essentially we've got the uh, extension cord that runs to the um, fridge and another extension cord that runs to another area where we're just uh, doing a, a laptop charge it off for the time being so and uh, you know it's it's been very good um, the the app is uh, pretty uh, intuitive for what you're doing and at the moment it's actually running the you know around 180 watts and that's because the fridge is actually doing one of its cycles at the moment Generally, it's running about 70 or 80 watts continuously throughout the entire day for the time being. Um, I think that we'll probably load this up more. We get uh, plenty of time at the moment, um, but as you can see right now, it's got 18 hours remaining at this almost, you know, almost 200 watts continuous. So uh, if this were to drop down, if that fridge were to go off and actually you would drop down to 80, you'll see that over a day. And the idea behind this is we want to have enough battery to be able to carry that fridge load or uh, to, you know, not have any uh, any issues with that at the moment at all. Uh, I do not yet have the solar hookup to it. That'll be kind of a, the next phase of this. This was really just the, uh, the, the starting setup we wanted to play around with essentially, right? So uh, it's been great. You, it's running right now. It's uh, you know there's no AC input on it. Uh, you can't hear the fan. It is silent. Um, generally, when it's charging, I've seen it actually get around 90 degrees. We are in the basement at the moment, um, but it it's been just a cool, quiet unit for us so far. And uh, to be very very blunt, very happy with it from perspective of. How easy it is to move around, and you know, it it, uh, it it's got um, probably the only configuration thing I don't like about it is the uh, the the cable mechanism that uh, connects the battery to the uh, uh, the extended battery. So, and that's only because of the placements I've been trying. It's essentially a big loop behind. It's, forgive the networking cables are kind of messy at the moment and just behind there, but. That big black cable there, you can see how that loops out. So it's got a little bit of space um, consideration that isn't the greatest from uh, uh, that configuration, but really it's a minor, minor. That's probably the only complaint I have so far. Uh, um, occasionally you'll have to reconnect Bluetooth. Uh, not a, a big deal, it means you do have to get down to the actual uh, button on the screen there. So. Uh, See if I can get the camera off and actually show you that there. So, and once in a while, this uh, um, the IoT, as they call it, setting there. That light will sometimes shut off, and uh, you'll you'll lose your Bluetooth connectivity to your phone. So uh, that's uh, probably the only two annoyances I've had so far with the unit. Been very very impressed with it. Um, 
it was even a, a very interesting scenario that I actually was um, changing something with the cable uh, uh, company and upgrading the modem and I had everything plugged in here and we literally lost power while we were doing that <laughs> so it was very very interesting to get a you know while I was on the call uh, an active uh, um, usage of the thing because it didn't interrupt the support call at all and we were able to finish uh, setting the, the cable modem up while we were doing that Anyway, uh, very pleased with this so far. It's been a fantastic little addition, and uh, I'll create another video when we have this uh, a little more set up for um, uh, the probably the solar input, so that we get some charging passively through the day. And uh, the uh, we'll see what we, uh, if I actually start messing with this thing as being a, a bit of a backup into the uh, the actual house electrical. The, the challenge with that is that I need 240 and this thing is only doing 120 uh, at 30 amp. So, um, looking, there's a couple solutions for considering, but anyways, that's for a future video. So, anyways, hope that's helpful and have a great day.